Good morning, D103 students. Um, today is a great day. It's the first day that I am um, recording a morning message for you and getting it out to all of you. Um, today is March 24th, and it is a Tuesday. Um, as you can see, I brought some things home from our classroom, and I set it up here in my at-home learning environment. So I am working from home today and over the next few weeks. Um, and you should be too. So um, I wanted to share with you some of the things that I brought. I brought our school calendar. I brought the easel board that was in our classroom to hold charts and things. I also brought a bunch of books that I'm planning to read to all of you over the next few weeks. I have here our projector that will come in handy. Of course, I brought my laptop. And I even brought my caddy to help keep me organized with all my supplies in there. So, I am ready. I'm ready for learning. Are you ready for learning? I hope so, but if not, I'm going to give you guys today to do that, okay? So, um, I want to let you know some of the things I want you to do um, over the next couple of days, and hopefully by the end of the week, we're good to go and we're ready. So, the first thing I want you to do is download the Class Dojo app to a device that you use daily. So, something that you have access to on a daily basis. Um, it's not the class dojo that mom and dad have downloaded on their cell phone. It's the student version of the class dojo. So um, it will be where you can access your portfolio that we sometimes do in class, and you can upload assignments and videos and um, pictures mostly. Um, so ask mom and dad to help you with that because I sent them a link and I sent them instructions. So um, get, get that done as soon as possible. Um, the next thing I want you to do, number two, is gather supplies and set it up like I did today um, and make a place. I, I used our spare bedroom, so it's perfect for me, but anywhere in your house will be a great place that is quiet and away from the TV. Um, so in your room um, would be good, like a little area in your room or family room in the living room, um, some place that, um, that is designated just for learning. And when you find that place, gather some supplies, like um, you'll need a couple of pencils and erasers. Um, you'll need paper, folder paper, computer paper. Any paper is fine. And if um, you don't find paper, um, you can use your spelling tablet. Um, uh, we'll, we'll start from the back, and we'll use our spelling tablet, because I know that our spelling tablet still has a lot of paper in it. Um, also, bring a couple books. Um, that you're interested in reading, nonfiction or fiction, chapter books, picture books, whatever you're, you're interested in that you would like to read so that we have reading material next to us. And also your Avid Binder. Bring your Avid Binder with you to your place and um, set it up in a little station. And that will be good to have because it has resources like um, um, charts that you might need, hundreds of charts, reading charts, um, and also your passwords. Um, now, organize your things and turn an at-home learning spot into a learning office for you. Okay? That will be fun. Um, every day, every morning, I'm planning on sending you a morning message like this one. And I'm gonna, in the morning message, I'm going to explain to you a family challenge that I want you to do on that day. Um, I will also be doing the family challenges with you so that you can see how it gets done. Um, so today's family challenge is to write love notes um, and to the members of your family. And so I went ahead and did this family challenge, and I wrote three love notes. The first note I wrote is to Mr. Wong. It says, Garrett, thank you for the surprise coffee that you got me yesterday, my cup of joy. You are so thoughtful. Have a great day at work. Okay, and the fun part about this is that when you have your love notes done, um, put them in a surprising place 
that will surprise them later on. So I have here Mr. Wong's lunch bag. And I'm going to stick my love note in here for him so that he'll be surprised later on during lunchtime. That'll be fun. Um, I also wrote one to Kyler. It says, Kyler, you are such a great big brother. It was very kind of you to let your sister pick the board game to play last night. I know Candyland is boring to you now that you're turning 13 in two days, but it was really nice to see that you were enthusiastic about it for your sister. And enthusiastic means that he had he was um, having a good time to so that him and his sister would have fun together, even though it wasn't his game of choice. So I'm going to stick his love note on a book that he's currently reading. And I'll put this book back where I found it in his room. I'm not sure what page he's on, but I'm going to just stick it right there on the cover. And then the last love note I have is for Layla. It says, Layla, thank you for helping Mommy set up my at-home classroom. I love how you decorated it with such cool stuffies. Now, everywhere I look, I have a colorful and fun sight. And so she was the one that helped me to get the Lorax there, the Hungry Caterpillar, and then I also have Clifford and Llama Llama somewhere. Where's Llama Llama? There she is. Okay. So that was fun. Now my classroom is nicely decorated. Okay. So I'm going to, um, oh my, it's 745 already. Oh, so I want you to know that at 7.45 every day for the last week I've been thinking about you and I've been wondering if you were up, if you were getting ready for your day, if you were doing your reading log. Um, whatever you were doing, I hope you were having fun and that you were being safe. Um, I'm very curious to find out what you did, so please respond in the comments um, and tell me what you've been up to because I would love to know. Um, also check out some links from um, in this message that will tell you some things that you some other things that you can do today, um, and come back tomorrow for another morning message and another family challenge. Have a great day. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.